Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna do a little something different today, but um, either way, it's, it's knowledge that you'll know. I, I didn't see any videos that explained it the way that I'm going to explain it on YouTube, so I'm gonna post one. First thing to do is you wanna jack up the vehicle and get it safe before you remove the wheel. And uh, you can see the wheel has already been removed. This video is about drum brakes. These brakes are grabbing. Um, I have a dealership and we get cars from the auction, buy them from private parties or whatever. But either way, we try to get them right before we sell them. So this has a problem when you step on the brakes, it grabs. And it's like it'll make the rear wheels chirp, like at a low speed. These are just basic drum brakes. And they function just like any other drum brake car from the 50s, 60s, or whatever else. Uh, all drum brakes are basically the same. So this is the adjuster right here. You can barely see it from this side. And um, this turns. So I'm going to turn it from the inside just to show you, you know, that it turns. And what it's doing, it has a jack screw. And it's going to expand these between these forks here that's pushing up against the shoes right so it's going to expand out and force these shoes that direction on this side and on this side it forces the shoe that direction and it applies pressure to the inside of the, to the inside of this drum and that's the inside of the drum the machine surface so it's going to apply pressure to that and it's going to stop the vehicle but this one is grabbing <clears throat> so what i'm thinking it has too much distance between the uh, the actual shoe and in the the machine surface on the inside the drum so that's why i think it's grabbing that's why they usually grab it I used to do it on my little i had a 1973 volkswagen beetle when i was a teenager did it all the time it would jerk the steering wheel to one side or the other but my father taught me how to adjust them, and I'm, I'm going to teach you the same way. I don't know about a Toyota Prius as far as how free they like for them to be, but this is too, it spins too freely, right? The way my father taught me is to preload them, is to adjust that uh, adjuster where the forks will push the, the shoes out, where you preload it where you can feel it drag a little bit that's you know you have them touching and you know you have them close enough so when you go to apply the brake it's not going to have such a distance to travel whereas it's, it's going to grab when it finally reaches the the surface that it's trying to apply the pressure to to remove this drum you could tap on it you know get it loose if it's not going to loosen up when you're tapping it there's some um, holes here that are threaded that you can apply a bolt and you know just kind of tighten up on the bolt and it'll actually push up against that the uh, spindle and it'll this will move out because you can see it it moving within that hole where the hole is so that's how you can also get it out and just uh, take it and just remove it you know it comes off. I apologize about the camera being so shaky, I didn't set up any tripods or anything, just a quick video. So this is the actual cover, uh, the access hole, and it has a rubber boot in it. You just remove it. You can remove it with your fingers. Just take it off like that. This is a view from the front. You can see it actually turning, trying to do it with one hand and not look. Uh, because I'm holding the camera but yeah you can see it turning now I don't want to turn it too far uh, I want to go ahead and place my drum back on it you know if I got to get it too far out I can't get the drum back on it so let me put the drum back on it and then uh, we'll continue to adjust it's still it. it's still spinning too freely so I'll adjust it a little bit more I'm gonna continue to adjust it and I'll just uh, you know I'm not gonna record me continuing to adjust it just I'm gonna do the same thing that I was doing until it preloads the drum and I can actually feel it uh, a little resistance and that's when I'll stop I put a couple of the the lug nuts back on to actually hold the drum square so it's not you know 
uh, caddy in one way or the other to um, give you a false sense. But you can see now it's, it's preloaded right here. Okay, and um, the, the drum might be out of round. That's why it's starting to catch on one side or the other. I might take it to a, a, a the auto store and get it turned or get it machined, but for the most part, that's it. Also, this is the, uh, that's the emergency brake cable. Um, I forgot to show you that. It goes down to the bottom of that uh, shoe and it actually, when you when you set the parking brake, it pushes out and puts pressure on the drum to uh, set your parking brake so the vehicle won't move. Uh, and I noticed when I got this car that I could press the parking brake all the way in and it wasn't really having any effect. The car would still, you know, move a little bit or whatever. The parking brake was not engaging. So that also kind of gave me an idea that um, that I was going to have to adjust the, the drums. But anyway, um, I hope this video is helpful to you. And um, if you don't feel comfortable doing your own brakes or adjusting them, take it to a professional a mechanic or to the dealership and let them do it because brakes are, are very serious. Thanks for watching this video and please share it and like it. Bye.